hello welcome back everyone in this video we are going to concentrate on creating the flash file to read the xml okay in the last video we just created xml and we created two folders videos and thumbs okay in this tutorial we are going to concentrate on the action script part so create a new action script 310 file and set the document size Okay, 800 by 330. Okay, save the file. Video player. Okay, now press F9 on your keyboard or right click on the frame and click actions. Okay, first our task is to read the XML file. For that, just create a loader URL loader and creating an object okay. by using this object we are going to access access that XML file okay for that just give URL request okay so inside URL request you give the file name playlist dot xml okay this will this line will load the xml file okay so you just add an event listener for the loader so if the event is complete means you just call the function on complete xml that means after finishing the loading of the XML file, you just call the function on complete XML. Okay, this is use user defined function on complete XML. Okay, our event and void. So, in this uh, loader function, we are going to read the values of the XML files. So, before that we need some variables to store those values okay i am going to store the thumb x value so for that create thumb x number okay and i need y value and i need width of the thumb so height Okay, and we need a number of videos. Okay, total. Okay, number of videos, and then we need the list of videos. Okay, list. So XML list. Now create an object. For the XML, okay, XML OBJ, or otherwise you can give a um, file. So we are going to load the XML file. So file, the type is XML, new XML, okay. Now file loaded is e dot target dot data. So the event will load the XML file into the file. This file, okay variable file huh? so now we initialize the thumb x these values okay now I am going to initialize all these values here thumb x okay. I am going to read the XML file through the file variable okay file dot so thumb x is the attribute whenever you are accessing the attribute you just put at symbol before that variable name okay you just open this file and check okay thumb x thumb y thumb w, uh, w thumb h these are all the attribute names so you just use add symbol and thumb x okay i just copy this line i'm sorry This one is y with 
with height h w y okay so now i need the number of videos and list so first list okay list equal to file dot the name of the attribute video okay so file dot video this is the tag name so you don't need any add symbol or any symbol any other symbol okay just give the name video okay now i need the total number of videos okay tot tot equal to list dot length okay this will give the uh, total number total number of videos present in the xml file okay after this process uh, we need a container to contain all these things okay we need a container to load all these things so for that i am creating a container uh, container the type of the container is sprite okay the sprite is uh, a class used to uh, you uh, acts like acts like a container okay so inside this you just write container equal to new sprite okay this is creating a new object so container so now add the container to the stage add child the name of the okay sprite element okay container okay now i need a sub container okay uh, container is the main container inside that we are having thumbs and the name of the video files okay so i need another container a sub con sub container okay thumbs is my sub container so create an object for this new sprite okay so the exposition of the container is thumb x the y position of the container is this thumb y okay and i want to add this container to the main container okay so container dot add child so this will be added to the main container okay fine now i need one more uh, container to contain the list of the titles of the videos okay titles right Titles equal to new type. Sorry, new sprite. Okay. Titles dot x equal to same thumb x. We have some modification to this code, but uh, now it's okay. Thumb uh, right dot y equal to thumb y. Okay. Finally, you add these things to the sorry this one is titles to the main container after creating the main container and thumbs container and titles container we are going to load the thumbs that is the jpeg images to our stage on runtime okay for that i am going to use for loop okay okay I just initialize the i by zero and less than t o t. Okay, we calculated the uh, we already calculated the number of videos, so I use that in condition. Okay, inside this I am going to load every thumbs 
in our video okay so thumb url equal to okay, this is the variable to store the url of the thumb okay mm. so we have the list in this list we have the videos the list of the videos okay here we just store the value of video okay what will happen here is these all the these all tags that is the these all elements are stored in the list variable okay so i am going to access that by the name list list of i dot so now i am going to access the attribute of the video so use the add symbol and i need the path of that is url of thumb okay give the name thumb okay now the url is stored in thumb url so i am going to load that one okay so thumb loader equal I've created a loader and I want to initialize the name the loader is name equal to I I said the name for thumb loader is the variable I okay so see here the name is in string format I is variable so I is integer so convert this one into string using two string function okay after that just add a event listener loader dot content loader info dot add event listener okay. event dot complete load thumbs okay when it completes it will load the thumbs okay create a new function with the name load thumbs okay okay uh, so my thumb okay this is loader i'm going to get the value from the event okay e the name of the event is i'm sorry the name of the event is e dot target dot loader okay after this one you just add this to the um, container okay thumbs container thumbs dot add child my thumb okay now check the movie by pressing control press enter okay what happened Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to load the uh, thumb loader. Okay, load new URL request. Now you give the thumb URL inside the URL request. So the thumb URL are stored in thumb URL variable. Okay, I just copy and paste the name. Okay, now, now check the movie by pressing Control plus Enter. Okay. Okay, our thumbs are loaded but the thing is the uh, thumb one thumb is loaded on another thumb okay so i want to continue these things on next video thanks thanks for watching the video thanks